the most expensive watch in the NBA, a $100 million real estate empire, and mansions capable of storing multiple super yachts. This is how LeBron James, the first billionaire of the NBA, spends his fortune. Yeah, you heard that right. According to Forbes, as of March of this year, LeBron James was named the first active NBA player to earn over $1 billion. Stick around to the end to find out how. All right, we gotta start this off with LeBron's craziest flex, his $100 million empire of properties. The crown jewel is Beverly Hills Mansion, worth 37 mil, and for good reason because this crib comes with a private theater, multiple wood-fired pizza ovens, a wine cellar, and even a cigar room. Yeah, he's stunting for real. Man, this house is more like a castle. And that's not all. He has more insane mansions all over the country. Brentwood, California, Miami, and Ohio, all adding to his real estate kingdom. Now, I said that LeBron's collection of super mansions was his biggest flex, but that might not be exactly true because he dropped a bodacious bag on something you'd never expect. And we're not talking thousands or even hundreds of thousands of dollars. We're talking over six and a half million dollars. If Braun loves one thing, it's perfection. And he proved that by copying one of the most elegant watches on the planet, which he was seen showing off at Super Bowl 56, the magnificent Tiffany Blue Tech Philippe, an extremely rare watch with only around 150 ever being made. Wow, six and a half million for a watch? LeBron is flexing so hard he might be a homoflexual. Now don't get it twisted, most people like to talk about LeBron's flexes, achievements on the court, and his hairline, but there is another side of LeBron that isn't as well known. He is a legitimate entrepreneurial genius. Back in 2012, LeBron invested a light little millie into Blaze Pizza, a fire SoCal pizza chain, becoming a franchisee and brand ambassador helping grow the company into a massive success. Yeah, and he didn't stop there, because in 2018, he made an even bigger investment when he co-founded a media company called Spring Hill Entertainment, the company that produced the film Space Jam, A New Legacy, in which LeBron took the lead role. This John was trash, but it still raked in over $160 million worldwide. Le Goat has also invested nearly $80 million in the esports team FaZe Clan, the brand Beats by Dre, which eventually led to Apple acquiring the company for a whopping $3 billion. And he signed a lifetime endorsement deal with Nike, reportedly worth over $1 billion. God damn! And finally, a couple years ago in 2021, LeBron decided to become a partner in the Fenway Sports Group, which owns the Boston Red Sox and the MLB, the Pittsburgh Penguins in the NHL, and the NASCAR team Roush Fenway Racing. Man, LeBron really knows how to chase a bag and stack his paper. Ah, shit, play up business genius or not, LeBron James loves to splurge on his cars. Over the years, he has casually dropped millions on customized whips, and his collection reflects his passion for luxury and performance. His garage is valued at an estimated 15 mil, a car enthusiast's dream, Ferraris, Lambos, you name it. And with property investments reaching upward of $100 million, it should be no surprise that Le Goat's most prized car cost him a pretty penny. Ron went ahead and dropped six figures on the car of his dreams, the Porsche 918 Spider. This whip is seriously crazy. Zero to 60 in 2.2 seconds. A top speed of 214 miles per hour over 600 horsepower. Jesus! Not only that, but this model is extremely rare, with only 918 of them ever being made. Yeah, that thing ran LeBron around 1.4 million bones. Damn, LeBron, you ain't have to shit on us like that. Unfortunately, he has shitted on us even more, because when it comes to his vehicles, LeBron needs more than just a garage. He has been known to travel to and from his games on his custom-designed Gulfstream 5 private business jet that flies at speeds of up to 3,600 miles per hour, an investment Braun has not often spoken about, running him about 22 million clams. That is a lot of cheddar. But maybe not so much for LeBron after signing a fat $158 million contract in 2018. In fact, immediately after signing this deal with the LA Lakers, LeBron was spotted on the coast of Italy on board a super yacht worth $29 million, complete with helipads, theaters, swimming pools, saunas, concert halls, and a disco hall. Yeah, 
a disco hall. That is skits. Now, whether LeBron is chilling on his yacht or cruising in his guinea, he's always clean, fresher than a bit, and drip down to the toes. No cap. One time in 2017 before a game, he had been seen entering the Oracle Arena, rocking a tailored Tom Brown suit with shorts, causing this atrocious fit to go instantly viral. These threads cost LeBron not 10 bands, not 20 bands, not 30 bands, but a ridiculous 40 racks. And guys, this is not the only time LeBron has made headlines when it comes to suits. When LeBron still played for the Cleveland Cavaliers, before one of his games, he bought everyone on his team a tailored suit designed by Tom Brown and made sure they all wore them to the arena. Man, do I wish I was friends with Big Bron. But this didn't get quite the response from the Pazublik that LeBron had hisoped for. But oh well, he's still balling. All right, guys, we've talked about LeBron's cars, houses, watches, clothes, investment. Now, let's talk about kicks for a minute. Before we get into it, I'm going to challenge you all to leave a comment down below guessing how much money LeBron's most expensive pair of shoes are worth. I'll give you a second and do not cheat. I'll know if you do. And to say thank you for making it this far into the video, I will be giving the first three people to correctly guess the price a special prize. See my Twitter below for more info. All right, y'all. LeBron's most expensive pair of kicks were actually gifted to him by the Shoe Surgeon, a social media star specialized in creating customized shoes to celebrate LeBron's achievements of surpassing 30,000 career points, joining Hall of Fame players like Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Wilt Chamberlain, Dirk Nowitzki, Karl Malone, and Tank D. These Johns are Nike LeBron 15s and are completely decked out with gold-plated zippers constructed from crocodile skin and dressed in 24 karat gold. Each zipper is made from 18 karat gold and diamond adorned lace aglets, both 5.8 carats each. Voila! Those are some clean steppers, more flavor than lemon pepper. It is estimated that these custom shoes have a value of over $2 billion. Nah, I'm playing, but they are worth over 100 racarooners. Was your guess close? All right, enough funny business, the hairline. Yep, I know you heard that earlier. Everybody knows LeBron James' hairline used to be on the floor, but now it's crispier than ever before. LeBron had a hair transplant back in 2014, adding an estimated 3,000 individual hairs to his head, which on average cost somewhere between 16 and 20 bands. Now that is a big boss maneuver. And if any of you cornball goofy goobers be hating, shut your funky ass up because your breath smells like Gouda and sourdough, huh? Not only is Bron on his boss shit and arguably the greatest player in NBA history, he is also seen as a superhero in the eyes of thousands worldwide. He is known for his charitable nature and has consistently given back to the community and supported causes close to his heart. Big respect, big bruh. His most staggering donation was a sum of $142 million to Uncle Sam. That's right. LeBron has been taxed almost $150 million by the U.S. government. Thanks, Obama. But for real, the LeBron James Family Foundation and its awe-inspiring I Promise School in Akron, Ohio, are prime examples of his generosity. This school is transforming lives and rewriting the playbook for public education. LeBron's dedication? Over $40 million invested. Dang, I could have used some of that guap. Look, we've learned a lot about LeBron. But there is still so much that is hidden from the public. I'm willing to bet you had no idea that LeBron moved so much as a kid that he missed half of his school year in the fourth grade, which sent his mom to prison. And that's how he got into basketball. Now, if you want to see more, you need to click this video right here. These are 12 things you didn't know about LeBron James. And trust me, these stories are crazy. So what are you doing? This video is over. Click it. Click it.